A soccer game in Oxnard turned into a brawl that was so violent, one of the players died. The 29-year-old fell to the ground and was kicked over and over. And tonight, his family is pleading for more information and justice. KKL 9's Joy Benedict has their story. He was the type of guy who brightened up the room just with one smile. Those who love him can't help but praise the life of Misael Sanchez, a young man who was the first in his family to go to college, earn a master's, and was working on earning his PhD. He was the one that showed everyone in this family that it is possible and that with hard work, anything can be done and accomplished. But it was a life cut short at the age of 29, and now his family is begging for help to find out why. We're just asking everyone's help to please provide us with that help and those answers to get justice for Misael. Sanchez was on this soccer field behind Oxnard High School on July 10th. He was playing a game in an independent league when someone on the opposing team didn't like a call. Things escalated and a fight broke out with dozens of people involved, including Sanchez, who later died. Can you imagine growing up playing soccer Years later, for that to only be your death, we need justice for him. Investigators say Sanchez went into cardiac arrest on the soccer field. He was rushed to a nearby hospital, but we're told never regained consciousness. He died two weeks later. I mean, I could only imagine you go out to play a simple, uh, it's a soccer game. Um, and a fight breaks out and um, a young man is dead. Commander Alex Arnett with the Oxnard Police Department says a man was originally arrested on the scene, but no charges have been filed because the coroner isn't sure yet exactly what caused Sanchez's heart to stop. Okay, did he die at the hands of somebody else? Or, and it's a very good possibility, did he have a pre-existing medical condition that nobody was aware of that caused him to die? We just don't know at this time. But the family says this was no accident. We're asking if you have any pictures, videos, comments, or any leads just to reach out to the police department. And the PD has even set up an anonymous way to post videos or photos on its Facebook page. Anything to help the family of this young man find peace. Joy Benedict, KCAL 9 News.